Hi everyone! Today we're going to make Rainbow Unicorn from inside out into a custom My Little Pony. For my younger viewers, please make sure to get an adult's permission before you start this project. Before we get started, here are some quick instructions for preparing the pony. Clip off all the pony's hair. Get as close to the roots as you can. Next, we'll use acetone to remove the eyes and cutie marks. You can also use nail polish remover, although it doesn't work as well. Now we're ready to turn this pony into Rainbow Unicorn. To do this, we'll use air dry clay. I'm using a brand called DAS, but any air dry clay will work. I also keep a small dish of water handy to dip my fingers in while I work because it helps smooth out the clay. Since Rainbow Unicorn has a very long horn, we're going to make a cone shape and place it on the horn of the pony. If you're using a regular pony, just place it on the front top part of the pony's head. Now we'll just smooth it in place. And let that dry. Rainbow Unicorn has fluffy rainbow colored hair. So I'm going to exaggerate that and place lots of double triangle pieces on top of the pony's head. You'll notice I'm also curling them up at the ends while I'm working. Then we'll make thick snake shapes and use these as a second layer of hair on top. And curling these up a little as well. Now the third layer to just fill things out. and let that dry. For her tail, we'll make a bunch of snake shapes, place them together, and put them on the pony's backside. I want her tail to have a curve to it, so I'm using this old measuring cup handle to help prop it up so it keeps its shape. And we'll let that dry. Okay, now that all the clay is dry, I'm going to go around and fill in any cracks and mistakes with little pieces of clay. Now we'll let that dry too. Time to paint! We'll start with yellow for the bottom pieces. Then green. Touch up the yellow. And you notice the paint doesn't always stay where it's supposed to. That's okay, just keep touching it up as you go. Put green on the tail. Then teal blue for the next layer. Then blue. Then 
Next, we'll use purple. Now pink. And red. Now, some more touch-ups. And we'll finish the stripes on the tail. And since I want her ears and body to stay white, I'm using some acetone to remove the paint that's accidentally in the wrong places. Next, we'll paint the horn pink. And then start painting the body white. This will take several coats. Next, we'll use purple for the stripes on the horn. Now we'll give Rainbow Unicorn her cutie mark. We'll make a pink heart. And since my heart shape didn't come out perfectly, I just used some white paint to outline it and make it look like a more shapely heart. Rainbow Unicorn has kind of a bored, unamused look on her face, so we'll use gray to make her eyes look like they're half closed. Just fill in the eye indent on the pony about halfway down. Then we'll make a thin black line for the edge of the eyelid. And give her some eyelashes. Then we'll make her eyes black by creating a half circle below the eyelid. For some finishing touches, we'll place a pink dot in each nostril and kind of outline the mouth opening a little bit to make it look like her mouth is open. Then we'll place two white dots in each eye for highlights. And that's it! Now you have a custom Rainbow Unicorn My Little Pony. Today we're going to turn Flash from Zootopia into Flash from DC Comics. If you're going to try this at home, please make sure to get an adult's permission before starting this project. The first thing we're going to do is paint Flash's body red. Then we'll give him a red mask. and yellow shoes.
We'll paint a zigzag line around his arms and his waist. We'll make a big white circle on the front of his suit. Then we'll put a lightning bolt down the center. Then we'll outline everything in black just to give it that comic book style. And that's it! Now Flash from Zootopia looks like Flash from DC Comics. Alright guys, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time.